Welcome to this video tutorial series, Introduction to Maya. I am your instructor, Rohan Pagi. In this tutorial, our objective is to model a basic asset. As you can see in this reference image, we are going to model an office table. Asset means any prop which is going to be used in your movie or scene or any TV series. What will be the workflow of our assignment? First of all, we need to observe the reference image to understand what kind of primitives has to be used to model this particular asset. Next, we need to create a project folder where our scene will be saved. After creating a project folder, we will start modeling a table by using polygon primitives. Then after modeling a table, we must rename our groups and surfaces. Maintaining the pivots and transformation is another mandatory workflow step in our assignment. Creating layers for objects, placing those objects in that respective layers, saving a scene in a respective file format is also an important stage. For this assignment, we are, we are going to use following tools and menus. Navigation tools, object manipulation tools, snap together tool, freeze transformation tool, duplicate group, and layers. So let's start with our assignment. To start with the assignment, we need to create a project folder. To create a new project folder, you should go to File, Project Window. Project window will appear on your interface. With the help of left mouse button, click on new button. Rename your project. I am renaming this project as asset table. With the help of location, you need to define the path to save the project. This project folder is going to create different types of folders. For example, scenes. All your surface data models will be saved into a scene folder. All your reference images has to be saved in source images. Image folder is going to save all the render data. We will see all the details about the project window in another video series. Hit accept button to create the folder. Now, after creating a project folder, you have to set the path to that project folder. Go to File, Set Project, go to respective path where you have created your project folder. You can see over here there is a folder asset table. Select that and click on set button. Now we will start with the assignment. To open the reference image to refer during the modeling process, you can click over here at a render window button. It will open up a render view. Go to file option 
open image go to your respective path where you have saved your image open the image you can turn off srgb gamma so that you will see the true colors you can resize the window because we need a lot bigger workspace to perform our assignment if you observe this image you can see that all the shapes can be made with the help of simple polygon cube primitive all of the objects we are going to model with the help of separate cubes make sure that you are using modeling menu set and polygon shelf for this assignment click on the polygon cube the cube will appear at the origin of your grid first of all we are going to create the top part of our table go to top view with the help of space bar you can turn off the srgb gamma for viewports with the help of scale tool you can get the proper shape of the top of the table go to front view or side view to reduce the width of the top move this in upward direction Rename this particular surface, go to channel box, click on the name for PQ1. Now I will rename this surface as table underscore top. After that we want to create this particular cabinet. To do so, you can create another cube. Now, I want to place this particular cube at this area of my tabletop. You can use a manipulation tool that is move tool to place it or there is one option which will help you to snap this object at required place to do so go to modify snap together tool select this tool first you need to select the object which you want to snap with the help of left mouse button click on the surface you will see an arrow facing towards upward direction I want to place it at the bottom part over here. So next click should be at the surface where you want to snap. Now you can see there is a line which indicates that this object is going to be placed at this particular area. Press enter to execute the command. So you can see my cube is snapped to the respective area of the tabletop. Now I will scale it and resize according to my requirement. Go to top view with the help of spacebar. Press 4 for wireframe display. Select this portion. Press R for scale. Scale it according to your requirement.
you can experiment with this width and height according to your requirement so this assignment is basically to practice all the navigation tools object navigation tools to understand layers and groups in a better way to select both objects you can simply drag it and you can move it consider this black line of the grid as the floor go to perspective with the help of spacebar I have placed this portion over here you can rename this as plywood 01 now I will duplicate it as you can see over here there is a plywood control D with the help of uh, keyboard you can duplicate the surface it will get renamed as a plywood 02 now I want to close it from the back side so how to do that before duplicating go to side view turn off this gamma press 4 on your keyboard hold D on your keyboard and move the pivot at this end at the back area place it properly by doing so you will be able to rotate like this press ctrl D to duplicate this surface rotate it little bit so that you will get the value in the channel box as you can observe rotate Y is getting the value so I will mention 90 degree to rotate it now with the help of navigation tools place it properly and resize it you can turn on the wireframe on this shaded surface to do so go to shading use wireframe on shaded This is renamed as a poly, uh, sorry, plywood 03. Now to create a door, as you can see in this image over here, there is a door. Select this back area with the help of Control D, duplicate it. But before creating door, we need to create a base for this cabinet rotate it I'll just minimize this render window rotate it to mention a zero value resize it according to requirement rename it and as you can see the pivot is at other end I want to snap the pivot at the center so go to modify center pivot the pivot point of the object will be snapped to the center rename this as plywood 4 or you can rename it as a base of the cabinet I'll keep it as a plywood 4 only to create a duo I'll again duplicate this plywood at the back side scale it vertically you can go to this view that is front press 4 on your keyboard resize it scale it horizontally to 
the requirement place it properly over here a little bit inside now as you can see the pivot is still at the left side of my uh, door which is going to work as a hinge so that whenever you will rotate the door will open up this cabinet like this to create a handle of this but to before creating the handle rename it as door 01 I want to create a handle so I create a cube Again, you can snap this with the help of snap together tool. Go to modify, snap together tool. I want to snap this area. At this part of the door, press enter. The cube will be snapped. Rename it as handle zero one. Duplicate with the help of Control D. Again, I'll duplicate. Rotate it ninety degree. You can place this uh, particular cube like this. Now what you can do is, you can resize it, uh, you can experiment with the size to get the proper handle shape. right now as you can see we have created this door and handle so group it properly first of all I'll select all the parts of the handle go to edit group as you can see after creating a group the pivot of the group will be at the origin of uh, the grid to snap it to the center go to modify center pivot in the channel box there is a name of a group that is group 1 click over there and rename this group as handle now select this handle with the help of up arrow shift select the door then press ctrl G to group again the pivot will be at the origin of the grid First of all, go to modify, center the pivot. Now, to open the door, you need to hold D on your keyboard, change the pivot point at the edge, the left side of the door, which is going to work as a hinge. Check it out with the help of rotation. So now, the door is done. Now one part of the stable is completed. The next part we need to do is this area where you need to create two cubes and one cabinet with the help of two doors. To do so, I'll duplicate one of the plywood, press Ctrl D. As you can see the width of the this particular 
part is little bit wide. Keep it at the center like this. Now I will place it at just for the reference where this beam is and first of all we will create this cabinet. To do so I will duplicate the plywood, decide our height for the cabinet. Duplicate it, place it over here. This beam has to be at the center. Go to front view so that you can, you know, place it properly. All right. Control D, duplicate, rotate it. 90 degree press control 1 on your keyboard to view only selected surfaces in viewport press control 1 Press Ctrl D to place it at the bottom area. As you can see in this image, there is there are two uh, drawers, so that I'll have to duplicate this base and place it at the approximate center of this cabinet. I'll select all three. I need to scale it properly to place it. Now to close it from the back, duplicate any plywood, just rotate it a little bit and mention the 90 value in respective rotation axis. Scale it. Go to the respective side view or front view to match uh, this particular portion. Okay, now we have created this particular cabinet. To create a door, I'll duplicate this plywood. I'll size it, resize it. Go to front view. Place this door uh, properly to this cabinet drawer. And duplicate it. Uh, 
gonna resize it according to requirement. Now we need to create the handle for this particular drawer. Press Ctrl 1 on your keyboard. If you will select this portion and press up arrow on your keyboard to select this handle, duplicate it, you will get the handle. But if you will press again up arrow, you will see that the particular handle is still uh, the part of the group. So, how to remove that duplicated part from the uh, group? So, to do so, you need to go to window, choose outliner, outliner will display all the surfaces, cameras, which are the part of the scene. So as you can see, the selected group is highlighted over here with the blue color. To open it, press F on your keyboard or else you can click over here. There you will see there are two handle groups. That is if you click over here, this handle one is selected. If you click on other one, the handle two is selected. To remove this from the group, you need to press middle mouse button, drag it like this out of the group. So now this handle we have removed from the group. Close the outliner window, now check it out, press up arrow and you can see this is the separate handle now. Rotate it in a horizontal direction. Duplicate the handle for bottom draw. With the help of front view, you can place it to the approximate center. Now, select this portion. I'll scale it. This will be the upper part. Which is supporting this cabinet. Go to front, duplicate it. So if you refer with the image, we have created this top portion for the table, side cabinet, uh, the both sides, that is left and the right side cabinet. The only thing remaining is uh, this portion, this plywood at the back side. To create so, you can duplicate any plywood, control D, I'll resize it. First of all, go to modify, center the pivot. Press F to center the selected surface. Or you can say F is the hotkey for frame selected. 
which will display your surface at the center of your camera. You can scroll to zoom in, zoom out the image. So it is basically a horizontal one. There are four such plywoods. Control D. Now I want to duplicate with the same offset. So press Shift D. Select it. Control D. And then Shift D. Twice. You can change their placement according to your requirement. Right. So in this way, we have uh, created this particular office table. Now, the thing uh, which you should do after completing your asset is to freeze the all transformation of the surfaces. Check all the center pivots. The pivots has to be centered, or uh, they should be at uh, the place according to your orientation, or, or you can say according to your requirement. And also, you need to group the surfaces uh, in a proper way. So, to do so, first of all, select all the surfaces with the help of left mouse drag. You can see that uh, we have uh, somehow created the cubes and moved it in the 3D space. So, uh, this channel box shows you uh, the units at where they are lying in the 3D space. To make it their a recent position as a default position in a 3D space, you need to uh, freeze the all transformation. It will make or you can say it will settle all the uh, transformation values like translate, rotate and scale to the default value. That is, uh, translate values will be at 0, rotate values will be at the 0 and scale value for each object will be 1. So, to perform this action, you need to select all, go to modify, freeze transformations. You can see that the values are settled to their default positions uh, or you can say uh, default values. And now, the current position of each surface in a 3D space is a default space. So, for example, if any, uh, by mistake you will move this, you move this object, you can simply select it and mention a zero value and it will come back to its original position. The second step you need to do is make a proper group and rename them. So first of all, as you can see, I have this door group where I need to rename it door. This is just a door. I know I, I want to uh, create a group for this left cabinet. So first of all, select the plywoods which are at the part of this left cabinet to for the multiple selection you can press shift on your keyboard so i have selected uh, left side top bottom and i want to select the door so to select the door group now after all this selection hold shift select any of the content of door group press up arrow so now in my selection i have selected all the plywoods uh, which are part of the left cabinet and also I have selected the door group now press ctrl G on your keyboard you can uh, see that the pivot of the group is at, at the center of the grid so go to modify center the pivot now rename this newly created group as left cabinet I need to perform the same action over here so first of all create a group for this door select handle group and a respective door press ctrl G go to modify center the pivot and rename it as door 02 perform the same action for creating next door 
control G modify center pivot and rename the group as to 3 select all the plywoods of right side cabinet including back Select each part of door and press up arrow to go for selection of the groups. Press Ctrl G to group. Go to Modify Center Pivot. Rename it as Right Cabinet. Select all the backside plywoods. Control G modify center pivot and rename the group as back plywood. And this is already renamed as a tabletop. Now you can see my tabletop is renamed. I have proper group of the cabinets and also uh, the back plywood. Now I want to create a one group for the table so I can uh, later on uh, at the time of set dressing I can you know place it according to my requirement. There are now separate groups of the table uh, so select those groups select the left side cabinet with the up arrow right side cabinet with the up arrow back plywood with the help of up arrow and the remaining tabletop surface press control G to group it and snap the center uh, snap that pivot to the center I rename this newly created group as table press enter on your keyboard now you can see we have a table group over here if you'll go to window outliner you can see in outliner you have a, a group which is highlighted with the blue color table if you'll open it it will show you the hierarchy of the table uh, group table group contain left uh, cabinet I'll just rename it properly left cabinet right cabinet if you'll click uh, over there in outliner the respective group is getting selected back plywood and tabletop so in this way you need to keep your outliner clean rename all the groups now uh, I want to create a layer and uh, I want to create a display layer and, and uh, will keep the table in that respective group so I'll close the outliner select the table group with the help of up arrow go to channel box there is a display layer go to layer and choose option called as create layer from selected so it will create a new layer and it will add the table in that layer to rename the layer you need to double click over there and rename it as table save uh, it is saying that the table is already exists uh, that means we have renamed it uh, for the group i'll say table underscore layer save it so you can see uh, the visibility is now working with the content of that table layer right so we have created an office table over here but for to create a chair you can simply go with the basic shape like a cube create a cube We'll create a very basic chair. I rename it as uh, chair underscore ply zero one. Now I'll go to top view. Control D. I want to create a leg for chair, so I'll first decide the overall. Uh, what you can see the width use uh, these orthographic views properly so that you can place them uh, the objects uh, at proper position and duplicate it go to top view Control D and duplicate these two legs over here. I 
I'll select these two. I want to keep it at the very at side edge, proper corner. duplicate this plywood, rotate it so we have created a very basic chair over here Select all the content of the chair, control G to group it, go to modify, center the pivot and rename it as chair 01 and uh, resize it according to the proportion, it's already in a proportion. Now I want to duplicate this, control D, rotate it uh, in 180 degree angle, go to top view, place it properly. you can duplicate to get another chair and place it according to your requirement now you can see over here we have created an office table and a group of chairs over here so in this way you can uh, you know create uh, this basic asset but uh, make sure that all the groups and all the surfaces are freeze transformed right so this is how we have modeled the basic asset but after completing the project or the assignment, you should go through your checklist uh, that uh, that is very important to become a good uh, modeler or if you are with an artist or whatever artist you are. But at the end of the, your project, you should have uh, one checklist to whether uh, to check that whether you have missed any step or anything which is uh, very important to look at. So let us have a look that what kind of checklist you should go for uh, this assignment. After completing your work, uh, uh, this should be the checklist for this assignment. Uh, yes, we have created a, a project folder where we have saved our scene. Then all the objects we have freeze the transformed. Uh, we have freeze transformed all the objects so that uh, all the transformation values of those objects is settled to a default position. We have uh, renamed the objects and the group with a proper naming convention so that it will help to other department people to easily understand uh, the name of the groups uh, which are they are going to use. Uh, layers, we have created only one layer uh, in this assignment for table and uh, we have renamed it uh, properly. And uh, we haven't deleted the history yet. See, the use of the checklist is that uh, we haven't deleted the history so if you do not follow the checklist you will get to know that if any part is remaining you can go back simply to your project as i'll go back to my project over here to delete the history because you know whenever you are working with the surface you are somehow you are uh, creating a, uh, some kind of history changing the shape you should always go over here select all the objects go to edit and delete by all type history so it will uh, remove the all uh, shape deformation uh, information from the maya and it will help you to keep uh, the file size uh, less file size you can say and after doing that the other step you need to do is uh, save the scene to save the scene um, you should go to uh, this uh, file type first and there are two different file types that is Maya ASCII and Maya binary. We'll talk about the file formats in upcoming video lectures. Now save the file in Maya ASCII format and uh, rename the assignment as asset table or you can say asset office save it. 
So delete the history and save the file. Uh, these are the steps which were remaining. Go back to your checklist again. As you can see over here, we have deleted the history and saved the scene with the proper file extension that is Maya ASCII. Now, after checklist, we must know what we learned in today's assignment. Today, we have learned how to model a basic asset where we have understood different processes like uh, view navigation, uh, object navigation, how to duplicate, how to group. It is very important to practice with this kind of basic assignment and we have learned to create a project folder which is the important part before starting any kind of assignment. And we have seen the Maya file format that is Maya ASCII and Maya binary uh, which we are going to learn in a detail in upcoming videos. For any query uh, regarding this lecture, you can follow me on Facebook that is www.facebook.com rohanpage.3. You can write me an email with rohanpageanimator at gmail.com. So, thank you for watching this video. See you soon in next series.